you guys haven't been in here before, we always fish this spot right here from the bank first. Then we'll put the kayak in and we'll go upstream. We're going to explore some uh, new territory and uh, see what happens. Little bass. Short but fat. And that was off the trout magnet. The trout magnet worm. Instead of the, the normal pink worm that we use, I got some trout magnet worms. This one's purple and pink. Are they scented? They're... No, they're not. They're not scented. Nice little dink. Kiss the fish chat. Kiss him real good. Oh. I gotta get some bug spray on and get me up by mosquitoes already. Fish this little spot right here for a minute. Almost caught him. That was a little largemouth bass. What waders are those? These are uh, White River. Yeah, that was a little. Uh, that was a little largemouth bass. Yeah. keep floating away. I need to hook you to my uh, need to hook you to my waders.
Wow. That's a big one. <laughs> He uh he fought hard, dude. Nice. <laughs> Kiss him chat. Get the release on. Got him out of here. Yeah, I figured we'd catch a bluegill on that. I figured we'd catch a bluegill on the little, the little trout magnet. Kind of looks like a mealworm. What was that cheer? Little Ed, dude, what's up, man? How you been? Thank you for the 14 cheer. Fourteen hours of driving, dang squirrel, that's crazy, dude. To stop by and said hello. Private sixty nine, what's up? Yo, house bug, what's up, dude? Good to see you again, man. We've caught uh, two large mouth and that bluegill so far. We haven't been fishing very long. I knew it. I knew there'd be fish. From his catching. There he is. Man, what is that? Oh, that's a bluegill. Pretty big bluegill, too. It's a big one. What's up, Bleeding Soul? Good to see you, man. I'll try to stay as safe as I possibly can. There he is. There he was. I wasted, I wasted too much time being lazy again. Oh shoot, son! Oh, he hit, he hit like a truck. This little guy hit like a truck. I gotta do it guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I'm uh I might be too tired to walk all the way up through here. Redemption. 
That's the biggest largemouth bass I've ever caught. Not really. I'm kidding. But we're going to pretend like it's the biggest one I've ever caught. See how big it is? It barely fits on the camera. It's so big. <laughs> that other largemouth I had hooked was like 10 times his size, but he got off. Just a bluegill. Oh, uh, we got a good spot right here. I need my kayak though to wade. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to wade through that. I don't think I can wade through that, y'all. I don't know. I might be able to. We'll see. I'm gonna fish it first though. Looks like a good place for a creek shark. It does, don't it? That's why I don't want to wade through it, man. There might be a Tennessee spotted creek shark in there. I don't want that. Not a bluegill. But you gotta fish the bluegill out first. Then you get to the bass. Alright. Nice fish. Ah, oh, that was a nice fish.
That was him again. It was a bass. And it came off. I had him hooked. So that means he's probably not going to bite again. Dang it, man. He bit again. He bit again, unless that's a different one. Unless that's a, unless that's a different one, he bit again. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, kiss the fish, Chad. Kiss him. It's a new record for that leg of creek. <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest one we caught up this way. Of. That was sweet. God, did you see how far he jumped out of the water? <laughs> he jumped out of the water about up to my face. <laughs> Booyah. That was crazy, man. I don't know what bass that is. It's like number six, I think. He jumped way out of the water, man. Way out of there. Another large mouth. I think that's number eight. Something like that. Real fish monsters. What's up? Yep, there he goes. He's free. Free as a bird. That's a deep spot, man. Caught one of those in a while. Oh shoot, dude! <laughs> it's a hog sucker. <laughs> I've actually never caught a hog sucker out of here, so this is a first for us. Look. It's a hog sucker. Sweet. That's the first hog sucker I've ever caught out of here.
Oh, what is that? That's a red eye. Red eye rock bass. Oh. There's a red eye of uh, beautiful fish. He's just a little guy though. Nightbot's pretty good at spamming. Really? It's a largemouth bass. <laughs> A very small largemouth bass. Oh. Yeah, that's a bunch of mud. There's gonna be a snapping turtle in there to take my toes off. Uh. Oh. I think John Wilson started that in the UK. That's interesting. I don't know who he is, but it's kind of interesting to to kind of figure out where that began. Oh my God! <laughs> there's so much. There's so much mud right here. We're gonna get stuck. Okay, it's actually not that bad right here. As long as I don't snow, step on a snapping turtle, we're good. Okay, it gets deep right there. No! Locked in the hubs. Gotta go into four wheel drive. That was that mud was up to my knees right there, by the way. My knees in mud. And we're about to go through it again. If I can do this without falling. There's a little bass. <sighs> Called an old couple being stalked by a deer. <laughs> Finally caught a dang bass. I feel like the bite's turned off on us, man. Is that a bass or bait? It could be pretty good bait too. Need a little dink, a little dink of large mouth. Think of my thumb. About time. He's a little dinky too. A slight F. Oh, there he goes. It looks like it'd be some catfish.
There we go. Here we go. Nice little large mouth. I bet there's some catfish in there. I want to try to catch some catfish. Pretty good little, little bass. He's a little bit bigger. He's a little bigger than the last one. Not by much. Oh, there's that one. That's bass number two from this hole. It's a pretty good hole. I'm just wondering what else is in here. I'm going to find out right now, actually. I'm going to put some of this gulp stink bait on. See if there's a catfish in here. my word. Where my word go? This little guy stole my dang pink worm. A little bass. Oh, now he's tangling up my line. Kiss it. <laughs> I haven't kissed a fish today. The trash child. What's up, buddy? Name him Flapper. There we are. Now you guys gotta kiss him. There you go, little dude. Taking my worm. This. Oh, there was a bite. If you're talking about me popping my jaw like that. Oh, son. Oh wow, that's a green sunfish. That's the first green sunfish we've caught today. We choked it. Liverpool, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Welcome to Fairtopia. Glad to have you. Yeah, if you're talking about the... Uh, if you're talking about me popping my jaw, Like that. I've got inner ear issues on this side of my ear. There's a bubble that pops up in my ear. And it sounds like I'm underwater over here. And I have to pop my jaw to pop the bubble. Somehow I got, uh, it's called permanent swimmer's ear, is what it's called. Somehow I got 
water or moisture behind my eardrum and it bubbles out especially when I talk and I, I have to keep popping my jaw to pop the bubble I think I can surgically get it fixed but oh dang son that's a big red eye red eye rock bass What's my favorite fish? Uh, probably largemouth bass. My favorite fish to catch. Yes, yeah, it sounds like it needs tubes. Yeah, I need to get them drained or something, man. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, red eye rock bass. Yeah, I'm starting to get mosquitoes. 90 more followers until we hit 2K. Oh my God. Can't believe it. I need tubes, uh, but don't have the 500 for surgery to get tubes. They're expensive, dude. There's our kayak that we left here. It's still alive. It's still here. Nobody stole it. My drink's still in there. No bears came and stole my drink. That's a good thing. Oh. Uh, In the UK, that would be gone by now, for real. That sucks, man. But that just goes to show you. Kayak's more loyal than my last wife. That just goes to show you that this lake, or this fishing spot, is all mine. man happy i found it awesome power up thank you for the 100 bits man glad to have you uh as a part of paratopia man. glad to have you by the way i see there's a bunch of new people in here a big old spot oh dang son <laughs> smitty thank you for the sub man you're officially a Paratopian. Really appreciate that. Welcome to Paratopia. Let's see, let me get this fixed here. Yes, uh, we're using an LG V30 to stream, which has been dropped in water four times. Finally, I'm a Paratopian. <laughs> Sure ain't nothing in my tea. Oh. Oh, it feels good, man. Oh, any big fish today? I only got baby crappies. We caught 12 largemouth, man. None of them were really any big. Maybe one or two pounds a piece. Hey, Putty, thank you for those cheers, man. Shark Blitz, what's up, dude? Almost out, yep. We're, we're making our way back slowly. I gotta pull out the other phone now. So I can uh, read chat up here on my kayak. This phone right here, guys. This phone, I dropped it in five foot of water and I lost it for three days. It was in water, five feet of water for three days and it still works perfectly. It's an LG V30, if you want to know, the best phone ever.
still can't figure out how I found that. Me either, dude. Me either. We found it though. Amazingly. We found it. Fix you guys so you're not up so high. There we go. Did I just stumble upon it three days later? No. We put our waders on and I tiptoed through the water with my feet and finally stepped on it. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the bits. Thank you guys for everything. I really, really appreciate it. I love being able to share this with you guys. and uh, It's just, it's an amazing experience. I really appreciate it. We're going to host up OK Dude. Hope you guys have a great night. <laughs>